Hey lovelies, happy Friday and thank you for stopping by my channel. I am so excited to get into this video today. We are going to be swatching the brand new Davina Cosmetics Halo Moon Collection. I've been, I have been excited for this one since the first sneak peek that the brand did on Instagram. And so I knew this was going to be a collection I was getting and every shadow that they started showing, I was like, yep, yep, yep. Like it just kept getting better and better. So I'm excited to be bringing this to you today. I know that like a Friday kind of midday time isn't always great for everybody, but this is when I could do it. And I thought, well, it's either now or next week. And I am excited that Davina is actually offering a pre-order on this collection. If you missed out on it in the like crazy launch and restock, if you missed out on it, you can pre-order. Those will be sent out starting on July 22nd. And then that way you could get this collection and they're also doing a pre-order of the full Aurora, uh, the Aurora Flare collection. So very excited for that. Now, if you're here and we haven't met before, my name is Kelly and I'm a professional hair and makeup artist. And here on my channel, I strive to keep beauty real real honest, real relatable, and real fun. So if that sounds like something you'd enjoy, don't forget to click subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. All right, so let's pop into the chat and see who has been able to join us. Hi, Annie, thank you for hopping on. Hey, Lock Maiden. Hey, Amanda, you made it on. And thank you, Steven, for coming on. Oh, <laughs> hey, we've got Davina in the house, driving, but in the house. Thank you for hopping on. Uh, I'm so so very happy to have you here. This is such an amazing launch and I am excited to uh, to dive right into this one. So here is what I thought we would do today. Now, if you saw my little like reveal on Instagram, I was saying that I, I did quite a large Davina order in the restock and <laughs> I love you all, but I'm sure if I swatched like 45 shadows after a while, you guys would all get like glossy eyed and we would not be having fun anymore. So what I'm gonna do is do Halo Moon and the new mats that I got and two new highlighters. Well, new to me highlighters that I got today. So if you can tell, I don't have any highlighter on my face right now because I wanted to be able to play with these. So that's what we're gonna be digging into today. I do have a couple other tricks up my sleeve with the Davina beautiful shadows, some mattes, some shimmers, some lovelies that are gonna be coming in probably a week or so. I should have that video out. So I will be sharing with that, that with you in the future. So. Let's go ahead. Oh, hey, Tara. So you guys, Tara just did a Mondo huge swatch party. Last night I was watching this and I was like, wow, okay. <laughs> like, I think I think we might be bad for each other, Tara. Like this is gonna be a little dangerous. All right, so let's go ahead. Hey, Tori, thank you for coming on in. So just a little bit about the Halo Moon collection, other than the fact that it's freaking gorgeous and amazing. So it will be available for pre-order. And like I said, those will start shipping out on July 22nd. The collection is normally $102, but it is on sale right now for $78. You, I mean, these, these six shadows look so gorgeous, very beautiful. I have them here for us today to be able to play with. And then I do have two of the new mattes and then two highlighters that we're gonna be working with. So we're just gonna dig in. Now, what I thought I would do, I was actually watching my, I don't know if it was my first, I think it was my first video when I got the Star Chasers collection and I swatched over my arm and then also over a black base. And I really enjoyed getting to see the shift of that. So that's what I'm gonna do today. So here, by the way, this is a color fix shadow. This is Obsidian, which I think that they might've renamed now, but it's the black one. It's just the cream black. This is gonna be fun to get off later. <laughs> But I thought what I would do is swatch those for you over a glitter primer and then also um, over this black base so you can really kind of see the shift. Okay, my camera right before uh, this live went live, I was like dinking around with the focus. So then I feel like I like bumped it. So, okay, we're going to hop on in. I do have my moons on today, by the way. I have a necklace that goes with these earrings and I couldn't find it, but I put on my baby moon. So I've got my, my big daddy moons and my... Uh, my my baby moon's on today. Hey, Max, thanks for coming on in. Oh, Steven, you are so sweet. Thank you so much. Uh, so Jeremy's actually going to be bringing me a coffee, but I will I will maybe have like a lunchtime coffee. You know, Steven and I, one of our love languages is coffee. So we, we love sharing our little coffee adventures. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, friend. All right. So let me see here. I just want to hop into the chat to take a peek. Yeah, we're liking the idea of the black base. That's great. 
Yeah. So um, Tori's talking about getting some mats. So a lot, a significant amount of my order, Tori, was mats because they just look so beautiful. And so I will definitely have a lot of swatches to show in that upcoming video. Um, if you guys saw my last, my like shop with me, uh, I was talking about how much I think Davina's mats are underrated. Like you, you just don't hear about them as much and they are incredible. They are pigmented and beautiful and we're going to be sharing those today. Yes. Okay. So Deandra is saying that she loves them with the black. And I feel like if you guys aren't following Deandra on Instagram, you need to, because like her looks just really show off and showcase these shadows so beautifully. And we all know that I think black is Deandra's neutral. Like that's her nude look. <laughs> so uh, that's going to be, you know, what primarily she shows in a lot of her looks. And I think it's just stunning. So I thought that that would be really great to do today. So I also wanted to share that today I actually have on uh, one of the new mattes, Zarina. I have that on as my blush and I am really, I'm really loving it. I just threw on a really light bronzer. I actually just used the LYS um, powder bronzer, but like the lightest one. So just for like a little dusting. And so most of this color is coming from Zarina and it made the most gorgeous blush. I haven't used any of these mattes as blushes and I got a few that would make really good blushes. So just wanted to share that. That is what is on my face. All right, so let's get right into this and do some of these shadows. So I'm going to throw on a base, uh, just a glitter base. I'm going to use the uh, Glam Glue just because this is completely colorless. So I think that this will be a great one. So I'm going to throw this down so it'll be somewhat tacky as we go over. So I'll do like naked and then over the black base and then over the glitter glue. So that should be great. And then what I thought we would do is we could do one look using just powder shadows and then one look using a color fix as a base with these shadows over the top because I got out quite a few like fun colors. You guys know that I love using the color fix as a base for like really beautiful shimmery shadows. So I thought we would go in and do that as well. All right, digging into these shadows. So what I'm gonna do right away is shift this light down a little bit so that we can see a little bit better. You guys don't need to see my face. Oh, by the way, welcome to the show with my eyebrows. I got my eyebrows far too dark today and uh, <laughs> I had to go answer the door. The FedEx guy came and I answered the door and I realized I look like this and I, he was probably like, okay, girl, the, uh, the early 2000s called and they want their eyebrows back. All right, so let's go ahead and start with Proteus. Now this one, is still in stock. So if you were looking to get a couple of the singles, I did see that this one is in stock right now. Um, beautiful. Okay. Oh, <laughs> and you guys, I'll have to show you. Uh, I asked Jeremy, I was like, do we have a, a flashlight somewhere? Because I'd like to have a flashlight in case I want one for these shadows. He's like, yeah, I've got one in my car because I know we have a couple that my dad gave us. He comes in with this. <laughs> and I'm like, what the flashlight? <laughs> this is so large. I'm like, that is like a spotlight. That is not a flashlight, babe. Like, uh, I think, I think we'll be okay without it. So you guys will be able to see here. So this again is Proteus. So you can see over the green base. I'm going to zoom you guys in. There we go. She's gorgeous. So you can see that like shift. It's like that greeny gold. Oh, like right there. Yummy. How pretty is that? So nice. So I think that these are really going to work well as like a topper shadow because they, you know, have that sheer base. Um, I mean, oh, even on my finger here, like, mmm, yummy. This is, it sort of reminds me of like, in the best way possible, but it sort of reminds me of like the wings on like a bug. You know what I'm saying? Like that, like really iridescent look. And by the way, if Deandra's still on, thank you for giving these names that I believe that I should be able to pronounce properly. Hey, Tasha, thanks for hopping on. All right. So, ooh, this was one that I was like losing my mind over. This is Esmeré.
so pretty. How many times do you think I'm going to say that? So these definitely have, um, they're smooth, but they come up, you know, with that little bit of flake that you're going to get, you know, from some of these shifty shades. And I am just going over these once, but I'm trying to give you guys a decent sized swatch. So this is Esmeré. Ooh, that like hot. Yes, Firefly Wings, I love that. Ooh, it's like hot, like a pinky red. And then it's got that, oh, like a, I almost see like a bit of like an orangey pink shift to it. Ooh, I love this. Am I just gonna end up like looking at these all day? Probably. And I am going to the salon after this to work. Uh, so I'm going to just go in with my two looks. It'll be, it'll be good advertising, right? <laughs> yes. Oh, Meg, they do the greatest names. Like, I love it. They're tongue twisters sometimes. And uh, I'll probably start checking in with Deandra for like phonetic, <laughs> like phonetic pronunciation sometimes. But uh, they're, they're beautiful. <laughs> All right. So the next one is, is it Zira or Zyra? That, that's I'm just saying that I'm pretty sure I'll be able to pronounce all these. This is definitely that like formula where in the pan, you just don't see the magic. It's like a pretty present that you get to unwrap when you like put it on your eyeballs or on your arm. Ooh, hey, Lucy, thank you for hopping on. Well, you missed me showing my big flashlight. <laughs> and uh, that's about it. So this one definitely has more of that like gold, yellow, orange. Like here, if you guys can see, you can see how Esmeré is definitely leaning more in that like cherry fire. And then uh, Zyra, I'm assuming it's probably Zyra, is definitely more in that orange family. The thing that I love about a shadow like this is you can very easily just like throw on a deeper shadow, throw one of these over the top, and it really looks like you tried so hard. And people are like, oh my gosh, how many shadows do you have in your eyeball? I love that. I love the uh, <laughs> less work, more outcome. Okay, well... Davina's putting us up to a Google challenge, so we're all going to have to investigate after this. I'm totally doing this. Uh, Lucy, okay, so I will run down these. We have Proteus, right? Yep, Proteus. And we have Esmeré and then Zyra. <laughs> hey, babe. All right, now we have Aelin. Ooh, this was, seriously, I love all of these, but as I'm like pulling them out, oh yeah, this was another one that I was so excited to see. See, like they look pretty in the pan, but you, you just can't see the magic of them until you really, you really like get them on some skin. So for everybody who's here in the chat, uh, what did you pick up? Because... There wasn't a lot that I didn't pick up. Okay, okay, hold on. I gotta tell the story. Let me show. Uh, let me show Aylin quick. But I have to tell the story of my my launch day. I mean, this. Oh, it's. I'm gonna. I'm in a struggle with trying to describe these. So let's get the shift here, so you guys can see. It's almost in that like. It's like a lavender pink purple, gray. This, is this the one that I said was like alien sex goddess? I think, I think maybe this is the one that I said was like an alien sex goddess. So pretty. So it's definitely, it has a little bit more of that like gray shift to it to me. Like so pretty. Yes, I agree. It did look super pretty. 
I just want to make sure that I'm not like mixing these together. Okay, so <laughs> before I do these last two, so I got on like at like the, the minute the launch happened and I do, 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 put everything in my cart, clicked out. There was one shadow that was out of stock and I was like, no big deal. Yay. And I'm like celebrating. I'm talking to somebody on Instagram. And then all of a sudden I realized like, wait, why didn't I get an order confirmation? I'm like, what happened? Oh no, I never hit like final confirm of order to be like, oh, it's okay that I'm missing that one shadow. So I hadn't actually checked out. So then by the time I went and checked out, like three or four of the shadows were out of stock. And I'm just like, ah! <laughs> so I like immediately checked out and uh, you know, it's okay. There's always next time. There's always next time. Okay, so here we're doing Marama or Marama. I would think it's probably Marama. Ooh, I'm gonna run out of, hold on. I gotta put a little more uh, color fix down. I'm gonna run out here. So this was definitely one of my favorites. I think I'm saying that for every single one. Yeah, Steven, this stripe probably is gonna be on my arm all weekend. Okay, so let me get that. Oh, you guys, I mean, sneak peek, but ooh, she's yummy. All right. So this is freaking gorgeous. Oh, the shift on this is incredible. Like you get that like tealy blue. Let me try to like get into this light a little bit more. So you get that like aqua, like pale blue, almost like silvery, but like a silvery lavender. I love that. Okay, see now in this light, up above here, to me, Aelin looks totally different than it did just a moment ago. Am I crazy? Because before it almost looked like a little lavendery, and now I see a completely different color story. Huh. What's everybody saying here? Lucy, you got the new bundle. That's great. <laughs> yeah. So, Amanda, I was there like one minute before. I was like, don't done and I wasn't done obviously. I, I needed to click one more button. Yes. Lucy, you're gonna love this. Like I think a lot of different um, bases would look beautiful with these shadows over the top, like all different colors. And I know you are like me and have gotten quite a few color fix to, uh, to be able to lay some shadows down on. <laughs> oh no, what did I say? <laughs> hey, Kieran. I can't wait for you to get your package. Okay, so, oh no. Deandra, you're killing me here. Okay. <sighs> Is it Nokomis? I'm gonna go with that. I'm just gonna go with, with, my first, with my first guess. Now, this one to me looks very different in the pan than all the others. So I feel like, and I haven't swatched it yet, but I feel like if you guys can see this one is quite a bit more, I don't know if you guys will be able to see with this light, probably not. There you go. So you guys can see that this is uh, Marama and it has like a little bit more of almost like a flaky glittery shift to it. Whereas this one has, it almost, I don't want to say it, <laughs> I don't want to say it looks chalky in the pan, but comparatively it looks slightly more matte but this was the last one to get revealed. And I was like, oh, this is so cool. So again, this is gonna be one of those ones that the magic just shows when you get it on some skin. And I think this would be a really fun, like inner corner highlight. If you've got like the right look going on. Ooh, oh, it's like ultra violet. So freaking cool. Wow. You guys see that? I mean, if that isn't like the purple of your dreams, it's sort of like indigo. It has that little bit of blue in that purple and like that pink sheer base with that like pink reflect. Oh my gosh. <gasps> so good. So good. Well, Stephen, now you're going to have to get some black shadow to be able to 
pop one of these over. We'll have to we'll have to throw some black eyeshadow on you. So yeah, and one of the reasons that I like these color fix as a base is because if you want to lay a color down and then put this down and then put glitter glue down, like it doesn't disturb the base of that black. Like so you don't like lift up the black and it doesn't get patchy. But yeah, I mean the color on these, there's so much saturation that yeah, the color just almost serves as like a canvas to make it really pop. All right. Cool. I'm so excited. Okay. You guys are going to have to tell me which ones you want to see because, ooh, man, they're beautiful. Okay. So I'm going to swatch the two mats for you. We have, I got two of the three. I did not get uh, Kehlani because I'm just not a huge blue wear. It was a very beautiful blue, but it, it, I knew it was just something that I probably wouldn't use a lot. So here we have Zarina. I'm just doing this not over black, obviously. So this is like a grungy peach. And then we have Tessa, which I am so surprised. Right now, you guys, I looked before I came on and Tessa is still in stock. And this is like, like neon, bright, sexy pink. Like you're not you're not gonna see that quite as much how bright it is. I when I turn the light back up, you'll be able to see. But this is like the brightest. It looks like it's plugged in. It looks like Davina Cosmetics plug this in, or that there's a battery behind this pan and it's on fire. All right, so let's go ahead and swatch these two highlighters that I got. Now, if you guys know me, you know that I love the Davina Cosmetics highlighters. I have, which do I have? I know that I have talked about both of these. I have Euphoria and Ozma. It's Euphoria, right? Yeah, I always forget that one. Euphoria and Ozma. So I talked about those in my last Shop With Me video. So I know Deandra had said that Zana would be one that I would really like. So we have Zana here. I'm going to pull this one up. Ooh, I love this. <laughs> okay, that's what I will do. That is, somebody's going to ask me today, and that's what I'll say. Okay, so I'm going to take Zana down here. And then I also got Adonis. And this one is so beautiful. I'm going to probably have to wait until into the summertime, further into the summertime, to really be able to rock this one. But I don't know. It might work right now. We got some good color when we were out kayaking over the weekend. Oh, hold on. I think I'm going to have to re-swatch this one. I think I still had a little bit of pigment on my hand <laughs> from Tessa. That one's not going anywhere. Ooh, you guys, these highlighters are so pretty. I mean, look at that like warm shift that Zana has. And Adonis is like glowy, coppery with like a little bit of pink to it. Mm. I cannot wait to get these on my face. Cannot wait. Okay. Yes. Let's do it. Body art with Davina Cosmetics. I like this idea. Okay. I'm going to turn the light up just a little bit. And then you guys can see, ooh, baby, baby, baby. I love it. I'm so excited. You guys know, Davina gets me excited. Like so many people in the comments of my shop with me video were like, I think the thing that I love most about this video is just how purely excited you are. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I love it. Okay, let's zoom out just a smidge in here. Okay, so let's go ahead and put some highlight on first. Tasha, you've never tried a highlighter? Ooh, okay, well, we're gonna do that right now so that we can see these. So. Let's see, let's pull out a couple brushes. Pretty sure I have a couple that I could use here. Okay, we are going to use um, a Spectrum number eight and a Wayne Goss, one of the new Goss, um, the edit collection. If I can get it out of the package, it's still in here. I still haven't even used all of these Goss brushes. 
There we go. Okay. So spectrum number eight, let's use Adonis on this side. Oh, I can get away with this one right now. A little bit of kayaking did me some good. I mean, that is so pretty. And I do have one of my lights like kind of tilted in to this side. So if the lighting looks a little uneven, it was just so I could get a, get a better glow of the uh, eyeshadows. Oh, this is so pretty. Mm -hmm. Nope. Uh, Megs, there is no glitter in these. Like, so Adonis has a, I'm going to just keep putting on more. Adonis has like a fine shimmer, but there's no like glitter. Let me, I'm here. I'm going to get you super close. So I don't see any glitter whatsoever. And this is right now, this is like my more textured side of my face. So this is, this is dairy wreaking havoc on my skin, but sometimes a girl just wants some cottage cheese. What can I say? I'm trying to like get a kick of, let me see if I can pull my phone out here. I'm not going to use the big flashlight. There, you guys can see that. It's so pretty. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Enough of me looking at my own face. <laughs> Let's move on to the other side. And yes, I would agree a hundred percent, Lucy, like the texture they are they are hella glowy and like have a really fun shift to them, but it isn't chunky. Woo. <sighs> okay. Hold on. Please stand by for that one. Zana is not playing. So this one definitely has like a, almost like a red peach tone to it. She's cute. Uh, thank you, Deandra. I wore them in honor of you today. So I will, I will look and see if I can find where they came from. It was one of those like Instagram random click fest. So I will, I will look for it. Oh, this is so pretty. Wow. Okay. I'm definitely not mad at either of these highlighters. These are both just stunning. What do you guys think? So since I can, <laughs> right. Yeah. I, Tori, I think that like that spotlight would honestly take up the whole frame of our, uh, our video right now. Oh, so Steven, my skin is a little bit more on the dry side, as you know. Um, so my highlighter usually wears like for a very, very long time. So I've had no problem getting these to last all day. Uh, I do use a good setting spray. I'm trying to see if I can put all of the, all of the highlighters on my arm here, but I'm running out of room. So like recently I've been using the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless spray uh, just to really set down my highlighter, but I've had no problem getting these to last. And I use these. Here's all of the highlighters, by the way, let me move Steven out of the way. <laughs> so this one is uh, Zana and then we have Adonis and then underneath we have Ozma and then over here is Euphoria. So you can see that I feel like Zana and, oops, yeah, Zana and Ozma are a little bit more of like shifters, right? They've got like a sh more sheer base. And then Adonis and Euphoria have more like, like I guess I would say a typical base to them. And I think that that's one thing that is nice about the shifters is because they don't have a lot of base to them, they're not going to build up a lot of texture. You're going to get a beautiful sheen, like, it, it's so sheeny, but like a beautiful glow, but there's not like a lot of like a texture. It doesn't look like a layer of frost on your face. Like it just, it really just blends right in. So pretty. Hey, Aileen, thank you for hopping on in. Girl, I know you're working. 
Uh, I mean, oh, wrong one. Here we go. Well, you heard it from Deandra. They're, they're pretty long lasting, right? That's awesome. <laughs> Running out of room. Oh, Locke, I could have put it on the other arm, but I just wanted to be able to like compare them all together, but I could have certainly swatched again. All right. So do you guys have a shade that you want to see or a couple shades? Hmm. I mean, I want to see all of them, but I don't think I can get all of them on my face today. So, so far, what is everybody's favorite? Let me see if I can. So we know that we have Proteus. Let me tilt these here. All right. So we have Proteus on the top and then Esmeré, and then Zyra. Whoa, I almost dropped one. I tried to put these in a pan that I could get stuff out of. And then Aelin, and we have Marima, and then uh, Nokomis. Nope, Nokomis? Oh, Deandra, I should have asked you beforehand. <laughs> and then we have that one on the bottom. So you guys tell me which do you want to see? I, oh, I want to see all of them. Okay, I am definitely going to be using Marama just because I think she's super pretty. So we'll use that one. And what I think I'm going to do is do it over this color fix base. Bye, Tori. Thanks for hopping on. Hey, Liz. So I'm going to use Chosen uh, as a base on one side. The last one and the first one, Amanda says. Okay, well, we will do either Proteus or Nokomis. <sighs> mm-hmm, that one. All right, so I'm going to put this base on. Uh, and I'm just going to, like, whack this on with a brush real quick. We'll pull out a Spectrum 11. Yeah, it does have a beautiful shift. So I think I think that this collection is just going to be so much fun to play with. Like, just to be able to layer with a lot of different colors. Maybe we'll do two shadows over this. I don't know. We'll see. So I'm just putting the tiniest dot and we're gonna just buff this out. This is just gonna serve as a base to pop our shades over. And I know that you've all gotten to see these over black um, because Deandra did such an amazing job showing that. So I kind of wanted to show it over a color All right, and again, this is the Danessa Myricks Color Fix and Chosen. Uh, Steven, this is the KJH 11 brush. So I'm gonna just let that dry for a second. And then I'm gonna pop a little bit of glitter glue over the top of this. Yes, I'm using my finger. Can you believe it? And then we'll take the KJH 15 brush and put Marama over the top. Marama. It's got to be Marama. That sounds way sexier. Oh, I've got a little fuzzy in my brush. So I am going to put this on my brush and then spray my brush. So Stephen had asked me a question. I hope you don't mind me sharing Stephen, but he had asked, okay, when you're wetting your brush, like what is the order? And typically you want to put the shadow on your brush and then wet your brush and then use it. Because if you do vice versa, you can end up getting hard pan. So that's the best way to be able to uh, avoid that. Oh, I should have tapped a little bit better. 
So I'm going to try this and then I might pull out my, actually, let me grab my silicone applicator. I think I might like that better. Oh yeah. Now, typically I would not put the, these over makeup because I just got a crazy bit of fallout, but I didn't want to have to do like a full makeup for you guys. This is so pretty. And then I'm just going to use my finger to like blend a little bit. Hold on. Oh, I'm going to get some tape out. So here's a little, a little sneak that I got from a friend is taking tape rather than trying to brush off if you have glitter. Oh, am I going to be able to get it open? We're going to take a little tape and get some of this fallout off. I was so excited. I just went in like, like a beast. That's better. Oh, okay. Tape, tape to the rescue. So this is just that like washi tape but you could use pretty much anything. This shade is so pretty, oh my gosh. I'm gonna pack a little bit more on. I like it. Yeah, these definitely have a little bit of like a texture to them. So just be careful when you're applying. But again, I probably wouldn't, uh, wouldn't normally put so much on, but I was just so excited. Oh my gosh. This is like mermaid dreams. Now I'm going to have to go look up all of these names after I'm done. Wow, this is beautiful. And I did not put any concealer under my eyes because I knew that I was going to need to uh, end up putting some on. Hey, Rupi. All right, let me see. I think I'm going to take, I know Amanda said that she wanted to see this last shade. So let's use that on the inner corner. We'll just take a small brush. Because I think these will pair well together. So I'm just taking this random small crown lip brush that I have. And this is a uh, Nokomis. Oh my gosh. Uh, this just looks like Again, like it was plugged in. Wow. Okay, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to even see this. But it is electric. <laughs> it is like fire. Hold on. I'm going to see if I can. Oh, you guys are zoomed in as much as possible. Are you able to see that like ultraviolet shift? It's so amazing. Well, I guess that just means I need to put more on, right? Let's actually use it to come up over what I buffed out. Steven, they're applying over the glitter glue great. And now I'm just going over like the naked color fix with no, with like no glitter glue. And this is just like, ugh, I wonder what these would look like under a black light. Oh my gosh. I just couldn't get enough of this one. So I needed to like put it all the way up. So 
So if you guys were able to see like how that transforms that shade, these are like total transformers. That is amazeballs. Wow, okay. And I will like clean all this up. Let's take a little bit more of this shade though and run it under the lash line. So while I do this, what color, what color should we do on the other side? So I wanna use um, the new Davina matte. So we'll, we'll go in with something that like kind of matches these. So I'm just using a rougher number three and I'm just putting some of that um, color fix back under. And then when I'm all done, I'm gonna use some concealer to like clean up my situation. So here you guys can see the difference. Like it, I don't know how to explain how electric that shade made that color fix. Like over like a pink or a blue or a purple or even like a teal, this color is gonna look fire. It's gonna look amazing. So pretty. <laughs> yes, I know. But see, the thing is, is we've all seen it over black on Deandra and I wanted to kind of like show something a little bit different, you know? Okay, so uh, I can't decide. Yes, it does. Okay, so Deandra, it does dry down. Like, I mean, these are completely dry. They are waterproof. I have not had a problem on my lids. Um, I know Locke said that she didn't find that they worked perfectly on her oily lids. Um, but I have not had a problem. To me, they will stay all day. I will um, like send you a like screenshot at the end of the night so that you can see what these look like. Cause for me, they last all day long, like no problem at all. So um, yeah. Okay. So I, now Megs, what kind of skin do you have? Because I feel like I don't have a problem usually with things on my lids creasing too bad, but sometimes um, like with shadows that have a little bit more of that emollient base, like, like even the Aurora flares, I definitely have to have something with a little bit of oomph underneath them just to make them last all day. So for me, the color fix work really well for that. Hey, Natalia. Okay, so what should we do here? All right, so I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna put, we're gonna start with Zarina in the crease. I'm gonna take a Wayne Goss number 19. Did you guys just hear? Did my voice crack? Am I like a 13 year old boy? Number 19. That was funny. Oh, I love this color. If I know it's sold out right now, but if you guys are looking for a beautiful like peach, but it's a little grungy. Oh my gosh. It's just so pretty. I am so glad that I picked this one up. She's delicious. I think I'm just going to lay a little bit of this over my lid. Just to have a bit of color. Okay, so if Megs is saying that her lids are oily and hooded and they work well for you, I would think so. Yes. Um, Deandra, they do have nude shades. They have like a, a range of nudes. I have number two and number four, um, for me. So if you want like a, a nude, I would say probably number one or number two for you. I will, I'll send you, um, 
swatches of them so you can see just to like be able to see them on my skin tone so that you would know like what would work. I mean, it's, it's definitely, I would think worth a, worth a shot. And they'll last you forever. Like one, one tube will honestly last you forever. Okay. So now we've got just a nice bit of color down on the lids. Oh, I can't decide. Boy. Okay. I think, I think I'm going to go in with Esmeray just because I know that that was the one that I was like super pumped about. So again, I'm just going to take a little bit of glitter glue, tap this down. Oh my gosh. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do Esmeray and then use Zana for my inner corner. That's going to be gorgeous, I think. All right, taking a Refer 28 brush. We'll dip into Esmeray. I'm so excited about these shadows. Seriously, Deandra, these are gorgeous. Like, this is... Mmm... Oh, I don't know if this is my favorite. This is this is a beautiful collection. I I don't know if I can say a favorite. I don't know how I don't know how how you can pick. I'll say that much. Okay. Oh my god. This is probably going to be on my face all summer. So just so that you guys know, when you dip into these, use a gentle hand because they are like obviously a little bit softer in the pan. So my brush like picked up a good, uh, a good chunk there. <sighs> and you do want to make sure that you blend these in well so that, you know, you don't have that like white. What the, we've got some like magic alchemy going on here. Oh, dang it. I just got some up in my crease. Okay. Wow. I don't think that it is picking up as magical as it is. It is stunning. Yeah, Lucy, this would look beautiful on you. Oh, okay. Wow, okay. So now I'm gonna take a little bit of, let's take Tessa and play with her a little bit. I am going to take a Sigma E36. You guys know that this is one of my favorite little baby blenders. I did do a full favorite makeup brushes video, by the way, if you haven't gotten to see that. So I'm using a very light hand here just to build this up. I mean, I just barely tapped this brush and <laughs> the E36 is like, it's like a wisp. It's like a, like if you were to like blow on your eyelid, that's how like soft this brush is. And to have it like pick up so much like color is amazing. This, this shade is like crazy pigmented. So this is like giving me vacation vibes. Where's the beach? Where are we going? All right, now I wanna take, 
Steven, thank you for reminding people to like the video. Okay, let's take Zarina and just like pull this up even further. That is beautiful. I'm, you guys are not going to be able to see how pretty these are. Let me see if I turn this down, if we can get the shift a little bit. I mean, it's like magic, magic on my face. I love it. Okay. And let's take a little bit of Tessa under the eye too. And then we'll do Zana on our inner corner. I think that's going to go so well. And you guys, like seriously, this brush, I am just barely tapping in because ee, that's a lot of pigment on there. Yes, Aileen going to St. Augustine. Mm-hmm. You could use this. You could rock this look down there. Oh, strawberry watermelon. I love that. <laughs> yes. Yes, it is strawberry watermelon. I like that. Hold on. Got to get some tape. I got a little extra excited there. But seriously, this, um, this goes so well with Zana. Like, it's amazing. Okay. Ooh, I like this one too. Mm-hmm. The sun, the beach, and a cocktail. Okay. So why don't we pull out... <laughs> Great. Steven's got our earworm for the day. All right. So I'm just going to take a MAC 211 brush. No, that one's going to be too small because I think I'm going to want a pretty good solid inner corner here. And let's take Zana. And we're going to hit our brow bone. And I know that this is going to be intense. Yep. This is why I don't have a problem if a palette doesn't necessarily have an inner corner highlight. Because I find that using the highlight that I have on for the day on my face works really well on the eyes. It just kind of blends it all together and merges the look a little bit. And since I didn't uh, put on concealer, I'm just gonna like really go ham with this just to lighten up that area. So again, uh, I should check right now and see, is Zana in stock? Let's look, because maybe we all need it. Hold on. You know, mm-hmm. I'm just saying Zana's in stock right now if you want her. Um, if you are going to pop her in a cart with the Halo Moon collection, it'll all be shipping out starting on July 22nd. Oh, so pretty. And if anyone, um, the the Halo Moon collection, because it's already on sale, discount codes don't apply to that. But anything else, you can find codes out there. I personally used Legally Black Beauty. Um, I really like her account on Instagram. She does really great swatches. She did like a whole Davina Swatch Fest. And I really enjoyed that. So that was really a great way for me to see kind of what I wanted to get. All right. So now I think what I need to do is get a little bit of this fallout off and <laughs> need another arm. Yes, babe. You want to come be my arm model? Okay. So I'm just going to take a little bit of concealer and clean up again. I would never, <laughs> I normally would never use these shadows uh, after I put my face makeup on, but I didn't want to have to like mess around with that. So I'm just going to go through and, pop a little bit of this on just to clean up. I'm using the Oma concealer, um, the Oma Woke concealer. 
And I'm just going to use a Real Techniques here. What do you guys think? Do we need to put lashes on or should I just do a good old mascara moment? Oh, thank you, sweetheart. I hope you think so. <laughs> yeah, that just that just cleaned up those few excitement flecks. So if any of you have any of the um, Davina mattes too, you'll have to try it as a blush because I, I am really liking this Zarina shade as a blush. Okay. Oh, there we go. And we're back. Okay, so we're just going to spray our face. Oh, no, I lost my moon. Oh. Long hair problems. Does this happen to anybody else? Do you ever rip out an earring when you're, like, whipping your hair out of the way? Oh. Now I'm going to look like a like a pirate. Hold on. <laughs> Mascara. Okay. Hey, Monica. Thank you for hopping on. I didn't see you in. Mascara and let it shine. All right. You guys, you guys know me. That's usually how I run anyway. All right. So we'll give a little set. I mean, I feel like I am ready for summer. I feel like somebody plugged in my eyeshadow. Like, mm-hmm. So I hope that you guys enjoyed getting to see this the this collection over like a lighter base just because I like I said I thought Deander did such an amazing job showing it over really deep dark bases that I think that this really shows you know the possibilities that these shadows have and I think that that's one thing it's I mean I think that Davina has such great prices for how versatile and unique that the shadows are so being able to see like just how you can use these. I mean, even just layering that one shade over my crease just really brought it to a new level. Like, oh my gosh. I'm I'm obviously just dipping my toes into this collection, but I cannot wait. And I can't wait to share with you my other little project I have going on. It's gonna be really fun. Oh, thank you. Yes, I'm I'm going to enjoy this so much. So I can't decide if I want to tell everybody, Deandra, what I'm what I've got up my sleeve, but maybe since you're here. So I had asked Deandra if she would do me a huge solid and give me her favorite Divina Cosmetics shadows. I asked her to tell me which children are her favorites. <laughs> and it was it was a challenge, I think. So uh she sort of culminated a founder's favorites palette for me. Um, and so I'm going to be sharing that with you guys in an upcoming video. I'm calling it the Queen of the Crescent palette, <laughs> my own little private palette. And I'm going to be doing a few looks and sharing that set with you guys. And then also my other ginormous Divina Cosmetics haul. So that one will be coming soon. Thank you so much, Deandra, for taking the time to do that because I, I cannot wait. And let me tell you, those shades are beautiful. Um, I know I put you up to a challenge and I appreciate you accepting the challenge. Yes, I would 100% agree with you, Amanda. So while I am putting on some mascara, hey Chai, uh, does anybody have any questions? Of course, you guys will be seeing more looks with this collection on Instagram. I'm sure I won't be able to get it off my face for the next few days. I mean, not this actual look, but I'm sure I'll be playing with them more over the weekend. I'm just using the NARS Climax Extreme Mascara, by the way. Yeah, I feel like uh, lashes would almost like, it would be almost like putting an overstated frame on a beautiful painting. Oh, 
Oh, I probably should have put some eye drops in. My allergies today. Mm. Give her two coats. I'm really tempted to see what this looks like over a lip gloss. I might do that. I think I'm going to do that on my lips. All right, so let's grab a lip gloss. Uh-oh, <laughs> Deandra, you're killing me. <laughs> well, maybe they're some of the ones that I have since I ordered um, many, <laughs> since I ordered so many, maybe I have some of them, but I, I, you definitely should let me know. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of gloss and then I think I'm going to top uh, this gloss with uh, Nokomis. Nokomis, see now, I can't, I can't, I don't even know. But this is, um, this is the Too Faced Lip Injection Lip Gloss in On Blast. I just wanted something like really kind of sheer. I'll be honest, my lips aren't in the best shape right now, so I don't know if adding a little sparkle is going to be the best, but we're going to do it anyway. Um, that's fun. I love this. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. You guys. Oh, you're back lock. Just in time for lips. I just threw. Okay. Nokomis. Nokomis. I think it's Nokomis. I don't know. I keep changing what I think it is, but this looks really beautiful over the lips. I need a little bit more. Hold on. Okay. I'm ready. Take me to a party. This is beautiful. What do you guys think? I'm in love. Mm-hmm. All right, we're gonna zoom out just a little bit so that we can see. Oh, that highlight though. Wow. All right, so here we are. Halo moon all over my body and all over my face. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. To those of you that were able to hop on, thank you so much. Thank you, Deandra, for coming on. It is truly an honor having you here on my live. Uh, I cannot wait to share with all of you Deandra's Founders Favorites and her beautiful Queen of the Crescent collection here that I've cultivated. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait to do a few looks. I want to really take the time to honor that. And so I want to take the time to do a few looks. So that will be coming in a video. And probably towards the end of that, I will swatch all of the rest of my very... <laughs> quickly growing Davina collection for you all. So thank you so much for hanging out and having lunch with me. Uh, I am so ready. Jeremy told me that he was going to grab me a coffee. And so I will have that. Uh, and I'm very excited to get the rest of my day going with this look. I don't even care because I'm so in love. People are going to get to be able to enjoy both of these looks. Yes, I will lock. I will do this. I will, I will post a pic of my arm for sure. And now, seriously, like I want to take a fluffy brush and try Tessa as a as a blush sometime. I'm I'm seriously, I'm gonna start using these all over my face for sure. Uh yeah, for sure. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for hopping on with me. It's truly a pleasure. Don't forget to like the video if you did enjoy it. Uh, I can't wait to bring you the next Davina Cosmetics video that I have up my sleeves, and I will see you really soon. Bye guys. <laughs>